Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to write a compound inequality from a number line. And for this example, we have a compound inequality involving and. Let's jump into our example. Now, the first thing that we need to determine when writing a compound inequality from a number line is if it's an or or and compound inequality. Well, we have what looks like a line segment or just a section of a number line here. We don't have any arrows or inequalities that necessarily pop out, so to speak. This is what and compound inequalities look like on a number line. Now we can see that we have a filled circle at two. Two is included. Then we have the numbers to the right, so greater than two. So we have two included here, and then we want the numbers to the right. So our inequality here, and we will use x for our variable, is x is greater than or equal to two. Next, we have an open circle at nine. So nine is not included. Then we have the numbers to the left. So less than nine. So an open circle at nine, and then the numbers to the left. So our inequality here is x is less than nine. And these are our two inequalities that make up our compound inequality. And since this is an and compound inequality, we want where these two inequalities overlap. X has to be greater than or equal to two and less than nine. So let's write this out. X is greater than or equal to two and X is less than nine. Now remember, we can write and compound inequalities without the word and. So we can write this as x, I like to write the variable down first, and it goes in the middle, is greater than or equal to two and less than nine. So again, x is greater than or equal to two and less than nine. And that's our compound inequality written out from the number line. So there you have it. There's how to write compound inequalities from a number line. And for this example, we had a compound inequality involving and. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.